Hello, I'm Paul Robbins, and here's something you may not have known about agriculture. You know, a lot of the foods that we enjoy today have been around a long time. Uh, tomatoes, potatoes, avocados, all of those date back thousands of years, but not all of them have the history of one piece of fruit that early writers called the gift of the gods. And if you like to sing the 12 days of Christmas around the holidays, you already know that colorful partridge was sitting in a pear tree. Travel back in time some 5,000 years and a Chinese writer was already documenting ways to improve pear trees by different methods of grafting the branches. In the Odyssey, the Greek poet Homer lauds pears as a gift of the gods. Pears were one of the very first fruits to be grown commercially with orchards springing up everywhere across Europe by the 17th century. Pears were a popular prop for artists as still lifes in those Renaissance paintings. And if the picture didn't sell, you could always eat the fruit. Early colonists brought pears to America by 1620 and orchards thrived on the East Coast until a crop blight destroyed many of those trees. Fortunately, by that time, settlers in Oregon, Washington, and California had begun their own orchards, which today provide the majority of the pears grown in the U.S. There are hundreds of varieties of pears grown around the world, but Bartlett pears, which originated in England in the 1700s, are the most popular variety grown in the U.S. Pears were once known as butterfruit because of their juicy, delicate texture and flavor. Uh, pears are a good source of fiber and vitamin C, and pear trees can live to be 100 years old. And while it may seem that there's no similarity at all, pears are actually a member of the rose family, happily without thorns.